right uh, in ground water studies and in particular in rain water harvesting they come across a term called aquifer what exactly is an aquifer an aquifer is a geological formation beneath the earth which can hold transmit and yield water to wells and springs in rain water harvesting studies we generally encounter two terms one is called as unconfined aquifer other is called a confined aquifer as the name suggests the confined aquifer the water is stored between two impermeable strata which can be either clay or rock or any kind of impermeable formation the water here will be under pressure greater than the atmospheric pressure and the uh, recharge area is generally away from the source point of withdrawal as you can see here this is the confined aquifer and the recharge area can be at a distance while talking about groundwater recharge we are mostly talking about the unconfined aquifer we can make a recharge well into the unconfined aquifer and use catchments like rooftops and roads pick up the runoff filter it and push it into the unconfined aquifer through a recharge well since it's a shallow well there is a chance that you know even while making the recharge well one can find the water we can see these in the following uh, photographs say you don't hit the water at the at the depth till which you have reached you can use the same well to push the collected water into the unconfined aquifer by consistent recharge the zone of influence or the area around the recharge well gets saturated and the water will start yielding from the well this water will be a good clean source of water at perhaps the cheapest possible price we can now see in this video a well which was done in 2015 has started yielding in 2020 at a depth of 14 feet at a place called Indranagar in Bangalore I will now try to explain the economics of unconfined aquifer or the shallow aquifer so this is our recharge well or withdrawal well where the water is available at a depth of 20 feet and this is our pump so the pump has to suck the water for 20 feet we call it as the suction head and it has to deliver this water to another 20 feet say a two story building so the delivery head or the discharge head is 20 feet so the total head becomes 40 feet so the pump has to suck the water for 20 feet and deliver further for another 20 feet so now we will use a half hp or a 0.5 hp pump to do this work so this is a 0.5 hp pump which will now uh, suck the water and deliver it so if the 0.5 hp pump runs for an hour this will deliver 1500 liters of water for a total head of 40 feet so now looking at the economics of it how much energy does it consume to deliver 1500 liters of water so now 0.5 hp is 0.38 kilowatt if it runs for 1 hour it will pump 1500 liters of water so the electricity consumed by this pump is 0.38 into 1 hour that is 0.38 kilowatt hour or 0.38 units now assuming that the cost of electricity is rupees 5 per unit the amount of uh, um, the, the amount spent for delivering this water is 0.38 kilowatt hour into rupees 5 that is 1.9 rupees to deliver 1500 liters of water or 1.26 rupees for 1000 liters of water now accounting it for capital cost for interest and for maintenance other sundry expenses we will add another 75 paisa so the cost of water becomes 2 rupees per kiloliter this is a very very conservative estimate the 0.5 hp pump can pump 
much more water than 1500 in most cases the cost of electricity is less than rupees 5 so in this 2 rupees is on the conservative side in reality it will be even less than 2 rupees so for about 2 rupees for every 1000 liters of water we will get good clean water now compare this with the cost of water as supplied by the water supply company in Bangalore. This is the bill given by BWSSB, that's the water supply company of Bangalore. And uh, this is the cost of water as supplied by them. You can see here, even for the domestic segment, the cost of water starts at rupees 7 per kiloliter. Mind you, this highly subsidized water supplied by the municipal authorities, even the subsidized water costs 7 rupees per kiloliter. That is more than three times the cost of water from the shallow aquifer. And other sources of water, like the tanker water, is far more expensive. In certain areas of Bangalore, the price today is almost 120 to 130 rupees per kiloliter for the tanker water. So now we are talking about rupees 2 per kiloliter for the shallow aquifer water and about starting price at 7 rupees per kiloliter for the municipal water and about 130 rupees for the tanker water. Now looking at both from the quality perspective and from the price perspective, need of the hour is to rejuvenate the groundwater and make shallow aquifer water as a practice in urban places. Thank you very much. Hope this video is helpful and this will uh, encourage people to uh, go for uh, open wells and shallow aquifer to be water secure. Thank you very much.